Welcome to Chapel and Wakes Colm, the home of the East Anglian Railway Museum. In this episode of Rail Riders, we're going to look at railways of Essex. On this particular cold, snowy morning of January 2018, it was a members' day at the East Anglian Railway Museum, showing the many job opportunities that the new members can take. This particular locomotive is a jewellery shunter built by Vulcan Foundry in 1945, numbered WD 72229. Also in operation on this day is steam locomotive X Bagnall 060 saddle tank number 54. However, it has now been turned into a side tank for the purpose of becoming Thomas the Tank Engine. On this particular day, it was running with no face and no number. Inside the workshop we see the restoration of one of the only surviving BR rail buses. We're going to leave the East Anglian Railway Museum now and head on to our next locations in this episode. So sit back and enjoy our trip around Essex. Welcome to the Colm Valley Railway located in Headingham, Essex. At this particular time period is the year 2016. To start off our trip at the Colm Valley, we're going to take a look inside the railway's dining cars. Thanks to Alan Swain, who gives us a tour around these fantastic looking Pullman coaches. This coach was made in, I can't remember whether it's 1936 or 1938, but it was originally um, a brake third, and this bit of it here was where the luggage went. And if you turn round and have a look at the wood, that's the handbrake. Just turn around there. That's it. That's the handbrake. And that's where the guard, the guard would have used that when he parks the train. All right. So this is where, when we have our lunch trains running, this is where all the customers come in first, so they can have their their drink at the bar. The last use this coach had on British Railways mm -hmm. outside was this was part of a weed killing train, um, and this is for this, this is just for where they sit. It was never like this. This coach was a um, a compartment coach which had four compartments, and it was a third class coach. So there we go. Right, we walk through here. This coach is a first class Pullman, Pullman being the top of the range. And it was made in 1951, this coach. And in 1951, obviously they didn't have their health and safety hats on because all these seats are freestanding, all of them. So if you had to stop in a hurry, you could all be at one end of the coach. Um, carry on through here. There's a little compartment here called a coupe, and 
do it. It holds four, obviously important people, or private party. This particular coach has been travelled in a number of times by the Queen. It's well documented, so we know it's true. When they didn't want to get the Royal train out, they used to attach an ordinary coach like this to the back of an ordinary train and run that instead. Right, now this is a second or might even be a third class Pullman coach. And this was made in 1926. I'll tell you about that one coming. And you can see the difference. Again, these seats are all freestanding. And but there's 42 people sitting here. It's, this coach holds 42 people, whereas the one we just walked through only holds 24. This could have been a third class or a second class, because it, as it was made in 1926, they had both classes at that time. All this marquetry that you can see on the walls, that was all 1926. In the, in the film, The Woman in Black, the inside railway shots were shot here and uh, this was where Daniel Radford sat when he was on, on the train. And they were here for about two weeks and I think they, it lasted about 30 seconds on the film. The Com Valley Railway is a heritage railway based at Castle Headingham Station near Halstead in Essex, England. The railway consists of a one mile, 1.6 kilometre long running line with a fully reconstructed station, signal box and railway yard. The railway occupies part of the former Com Valley and Halstead Railway which opened in stages between the 16th of April 1860 and the 10th of May 1863. This part of the railway was a through line from Birdbrook to Wakes Colne. The site was acquired from the landowner in 1973 and the Com Valley Railway Company Limited formed to operate the railway. The Com Valley Preservation Society was formed in 1974. It was a steam operating day at this particular day on the Con Valley Railway and the locomotive in service was the first locomotive to actually arrive on the line. Hunslet Austerity 060 Saddle Tank Locomotive number WD190. The Hunslet Engine Company Austerity 060 Saddle Tank is a steam locomotive designed for shunting. The class became the standard British shunting locomotive during the Second World War and production continued until 1964 at various locomotive manufacturers. Later years, the Con Valley Railway developed a museum centre, including exhibits such as a miniature railway, garden railway, model railway, and an actual museum hall with various artefacts from the original railway line.
As seen, 190 is pulling a rake of Mark 1 coaches on a local passenger service. When it comes back into Headingham Station, it's going to uncouple from this train and head on to the Pullmans that we saw earlier for the lunchtime dining train. Thanks to volunteers of the railway, we're going to get a cab ride in this locomotive along the one mile route to Nunnery Junction for a very classic steam journey from a bygone age. The 
Castle Headingham Station is actually in the middle of the route. The line runs from Drawwell Junction down to Nunnery via Castle Headingham and Houston Station. Now at Drawwell we get off the train and we're going to head down to the locomotive yards where we can see the various locomotives in stock that the railway owns. CVR have quite a range of locomotives and rolling stock, both resident and some privately owned and even being stored here from the main line. These privately owned Class 08s are an example. These Class 08s have been sold to Harry Needle Railways of the main line for use of spares for main line Class 08 shunters. The privately owned Class 47 that the railway had on site, 47771, has been in this res colour scheme since the 1980s. The locomotive has never run in preservation, but quite recently the locomotive has been taken to Easley Works for an overhaul for the purpose of being restored so it can once again run on the tracks, either preserved or on the main line. 31255 is one of the railway's two resident Class 31 diesel locomotives, the other being 31270, which is currently housed at the peak rail. 31255 proved unworthy for the line, considering the locomotive was a very poor state of repair. So the railway sold it to the Mid Norfolk Railway, where it is now based. There are two BR rail buses left in preservation, and here is one of them, the other being Chapel and Wakes Colne, which we saw earlier. This locomotive is under restoration and is hopefully to be restored in the later future. And it's raining. The railway's main source of motive power for diesel traction are two Class 03 shunters, one seen here on the 2013 Diesel Gala D2041 on a goods train top and tailing with a Class 08. of their diesel fleet is the 141 Pacer unit, one of two left in preservation. diesel locomotive is more used than the railway's workhorse 121 bubble car as seen here coming out of the siding. to leave the Con Valley Railway now and head to our final location in this episode of Rail Riders.
On the 6th of October 2018, the Epping and Onga Railway in North Weld held a DMU gala. The star guest of this event, believe it or not, was the Con Valley Railway's Class 121 bubble car, as we saw earlier. Numbered 55033, the locomotive was notably the last bubble car to work over the Bridgeport branch in Dorset. The loco was purchased from Tysley in late 1995. Another notable factor about this locomotive is the two different cab ends on either side, one end being from a class 122. This was due to a prang and a replacement cab was fitted to the loco. As well as the visiting class 121 and the railway's resident class 117 in service, Metropolitan No. 1 from the London Transport Museum was also in operation. <laughs> In the engine shed now, we see the site of Hawthorne Leslie 060 saddle tank locomotive 3437 Isabel, which has recently been repainted into her maroon livery once again. Isabel was the first steam locomotive that the railway owned. The loco arrived at North Weld in 2012 and was soon out and about on test. And now the loco is back in traffic after a 10 year overhaul, the locomotive will be used during some special events and low seasonal services. Currently one half of the resident class 117 that the railway owns is actually a trailer car from the class 121 that's visiting for the event, the Con Valley Railway. Here seen in the workshop is the actual other half of the 117 under restoration. Here we witnessed the site of 47635 Jimmy Milne under overhaul and restoration. As seen here in its grey primer, it is not long before the locomotive will be back into service. This locomotive is another Hawthorne Leslie loco, same as Isabel. However, 3837 is under a very long term restoration project and is unclear when it will be completed yet. Now back on North World Station platform, we see the Class 121 bubble car 55033 heading into the bay platform where it would halt there for a little while until the next scheduled run. The railway's resident class 117 is the next train to be taken to Onga and down to Epping Forest. The class 117 is practically the class 121, however a two car slash three car version of it. The class 117s were built by pressed steel from 1959 to 1961. When first introduced, these three car units were all based with the similar class 121 single carriage rail car units on British Railways Reston region for suburban work out of London Paddington. The units were largely based at Reading and Southall depots. The units remained here for many years working these services. The 117s were replaced on the lines out of Paddington when the Class 165 network turbo units came into service by the 28th of November 1992. 
Due to the type's longevity, 12 units have been preserved on Heritage Railways. world now. Metropolitan number one heads into the station with a train from Onga. Passing in the adjacent platform is a class 117 again. This time this will be the last service of the day and they are going to connect 
the class of 121 to the 117 to pair them up for the last run. The class 121 55033 has never really seen any other rails apart from the Con Valley and this was a first to see this locomotive running on a different railway line in the British countryside. It was certainly good for the locomotive to get out and stretch its legs as it were. I think we can safely say my views on diesel multiple units have changed since after this event and I thoroughly enjoyed the day. We do hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rail Riders and it's inspired you to watch more episodes in this series. Goodbye for now.
There are also a few other railways and railway museums in Essex which were not featured in this film. We had time only to witness three of them, three of the main railways, so we hope you've enjoyed this film and enjoy the rest of the series.